Uh, rock and roll. All right, if we don't get throttled with this, I'll be so surprised because we have an extension of boots on the ground. Um, who's digging the ditches? Um, let's get down to brass tacks, sort of reality thing, and there's nothing I like to get down to brass tacks with better, especially to talk about UX, UI performance, how do you make magic on the stage? How do you take? How do you make people feel that the 15, 30, 70, 80 bucks that they spent to come and see a theater show is worth it? What elicits out of you more than the Iwi USB? Um, Akai. Um, it is, uh, I forget this mirroring thing. Um, it's basically a digital woodwind instrument. It's got a number of features. It's got amplitude, um, where I can blow into it and change that. I have uh, kind of these nickel-plated things where you can actually slide, creating these glissandos and bending of the notes back here. Uh, registers going up or down. So I can change the embouchure. I was a, here we go about to get throttled. I was a reed guy, woodwind guy. I got a couple saxes over there, fun. It's the living instrument. You're putting uh, your own air, your own breath through it. Um, super fun. Um, and now I've revved up maximum speed. This is an inner dev interface device. What else back here? We got this thing for glissandos too. This uh, big nickel plated sensi sensate thing to bend notes with. I loaded through my, one of my favorites, a cheesy but an oldie and a goodie, uh, GarageBand into it. This can play GarageBand. I loaded up strings. Let's hear an orchestra. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Um, Today, we want to continue about interface. I don't know if we'll get a, some time to talk about um, approaching AI and machine learning with this thing to elicit um, conversation. Um, yes, it's USB in. I'm jacked into my um, power a MacBook Pro. Um, what else about this? It's fun, but it also elicits many ideas. I've worked before Apple companies started to kill all peripherals going in. I spent at least a half an hour to figure out how to get my exterior Logitech Pro um, uh, uh, webcam in here. It kept saying it is, kept saying that um, uh, the video, YouTube video so then when your video pops up. My video wasn't popping up. This is. Um, a kind of these feedback loops that uh, digital economies, digital AI machine learning economies, the hyper computer bureaucracies create, give these feedback loops that you can't. This is how I got locked out of my Instagram um, uh, by getting hacked. Um, um, subject for an essay, what is actually a disaster in a feedback loop from a digital economy. Um, but they create kind of interesting, groovy, utopic things such as playing your woodwind instrument, which would be loud, putting earpieces on. I'll bring in uh, Garage Band, my poor little baby here is handling it so far we will get throttled i'll try and keep this at a half an hour but we're getting into maximus p here is a version of me filtered um through maximus p we i loaded this into the first essay you only have four weeks on sketchup that's why i'm hustling like a bunny to get you through this so I know you know how to do this. But I just want to write essays. Yeah, write your essays on top of this. I need some boots on the ground sort of response to these interfaces. I need, um, I've added in your video viewing on how to do improv for theater. This is all, uh, a, as Talib said, this is all a complex system, incredibly fragile. When the fragile, seemingly strong system breaks, we got to get in there and fix it. 
Um, I'm disappointed that people are just pushing little apps around and touching keys and thinking that's a fix. It, it ain't. Um, to understand interface in, how can I get this thing by the amplitude blowing in, who, what, why, when, how, all these beautiful features of UX UI are here adding up to something on an aesthetic level, uh, but also adding up to uh, computers on your car. I drive a 25-year-old car and there's probably one quarter the computing that's in your cars. If you have one, if you need one, if you don't, I mean, uh, I'm also using Uber, I'm try, try, a big biker. So let's use this instrument as a way to think. This is for the strap, which I don't need, it's pretty light. I also have a brand new Yamaha um, electric sax, which I have not been able to get a MIDI device in. I got to consult with them why. The, and strangely, they didn't put USB C connector on it. I don't know what that's about. It's a brand new thing out of the shoot a year ago. Thousand bucks uh, from Yamaha, and yet it's got all these old inputs, which comes from ritualized thinking. How can we? design for our machines and think about it. This shows up on stage. This shows up in a music concert. This shows up in a rock and roll show. You're designing a club. You might want to have bands in that club. Um, this is an extra added uh, device to that. I also have an old fashioned analog sax over there. I have keyboards upstairs. I have electric practice guitars. These things are fun, 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 fun. Now let's talk about interfaces. Over here we also have, hi, an interface from this system, let me reduce it, that I made in, oh, come on baby, oh no, 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 it's a complex system, um, like I said, it's not, oh, there it is, now it's shrinking, um, here's a fun way I laid out all of these just by surfing on Vizzy, which I told you three or four videos back how to do. You can see all of these beautiful little psychedelic colors that can show up on your stage, they can intrigue audiences, they can exist as brainless eye candy, they can have deeper meaning than that. Um, we use projections in Lear Earl, Earl Lear, um, to bring in the background continuous 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 to bring in the background of eisenhower america um on this i don't know why this one isn't popping oh because he doesn't have a, a spaghetti drawn to him um we have the grabber throwing stuff in i don't know let me try this um i don't know if um we can drag and drop from um from a, a, a basically, I'm trying to find my, um, uh, where I keep all my media online, it's been a busy day. Um, phone, camera, dancers, Max, audio rec, all media for Max, here we go. Um, let's try, we talk about this Fibonacci, let's, um, well, Let's move him over here. Um, I got a bunch of video textures. I wanted you to bring in your video textures, so let's add that. Let's get back to bringing that in. Let's add um, video textures that I asked you to make. Let's add one of them over here. You just drag and drop. Maybe sometimes a bug happens and he'll reject it. This time he hasn't, so we can see um, there's a way of of uh, mediating that between the two, usually in uh, we have Fogger, Hussler, Freezer. I think you know what these mean. Um, Hussler, Bricoser, Alpha Blender, and then one of them gets our crossfaders, but. Um, I, I don't quite know how to make a switcher. So if you can see that video texture here, here's another um, 
grinds away on the top and that's what I ask you to do and make and you can experiment um, this is the pixelator this is the Hussler this is the inverters um, this is a fogger um, beautiful things now what does you say what does this have to do with the noise you're making um, nothing right now so let's go get it um, let's kill out of that and go to um, uh, well that's camera hue good things to do with cinema um, multi loaders color Michelangelo was a way that it takes and distorts um, this um, view let's see I already have the view on oh your PCs won't be able to do this there's one thing the Mac still does um, open that uh, turn on grabber and um, we have that we have a mirror or um, we have a way of dealing with that in time I'm gonna post some of these max patches so you can play 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 do screen captures you won't be able to, you can make but you won't be able to save that's what you won't have this is again a VPL important 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 thing to know um, it relates to UX, UI, it relates to theater, it relates to music, it relates to immersive environments, it relates to installation art. Um, that's why I'm giving it to you. And it's another skill. Um, is it a street skill? Yes, it is. You're basically doing code interface. Um, we can change um, the dials here, threshold, um, makes that kind of go away feedback let's include that there's a point of no return here where um, they're different more lurid more should have given me more feedback it's it's rampant all right well, let's clear out of this one too because I selected some um, visual graphics for you um, sound lump Let's go into these things that um, it's an interesting. And did I make this again? You can do Command Switch Off, and that makes this movable. The spaghettis are are salute in here, so you select it. Uh, Command Y makes them salute. Um, but let's turn on the sound device. Over here is a MIDI keyboard, supposedly, let's check it out. No, it's not. There's some, um, and there's our grabber coming out there. I added, it cannibalized a bunch of other things. And here's our interesting kinesthetic sound lump. As you can see, it's an audio reactive sort of 3D device. So already you can see how um, uh, we use this form to get into um, translating the senses. There is a command where I could export this as a .obj and actually 3D print this. Um, I geek out. I geek out as a creative individual, as a designer, as a designer for stage, as a, you know, the world's open. Um, I geek out in the sense that this can be printed. As Justin will show you, we can get this thing into our VR environment. So let's see what it does with sound. Geek out. This is wonderful. Um, a, a synesthetic, kinesthetic translation between the output. Um, could this be tactile? Yes. Ouch. Look at all those spikes. Once it is printed, 
Um, could it be olfactory? Yes. If we include some of the outputs to trigger kind of like a chemical elemental thing that's, that's triggered by um, heating coils. I tried that with a couple of students, how we could deal, you know, students come to me and say, hey, I'm a natural synesthetic. Oh, let's try it out. Um, there are scales. I showed you before in that whole lecture on uh, showing the dynamics of the senses in terms of circles, including music. As it comes around, look at the spikes. Um, smell, touch, taste, vision. Here we're dealing with vision and sound. So that's one of them. Let's quit out of that. Uh, save, don't save. Um, what else do we have? I have for you selected a bunch of online um, examples that are JavaScript based that are just fascinating. Most of them are in experiments with Google. Uh, MIDI plays film. What kind of film does MIDI play? Um, here we might see the use, this is a MIDI device with a USB 3 that I converted to a C to plug in. Uh, um, I, in this, did I load film? Yes, I loaded don't it's supposed to be playing here um, let's try and get it to behave um, pretend um, I shall create um, jit dot window let's try it let's see if I really can do that I think there's a bug or it's the nut beyond the wheel let's see I sent that command jit dot window to this exterior window and let's see if it works um, so all of the films are loading. I loaded a whole folder, um, but somehow with my um, coming out of prepend, um, uh, those who are better at Macs might tell me what it is. Um, what's this? Dump out maybe. Let's just see. Um, I'm bad at it. Um, um, VPL coder, I know what I know. Um, I'm a good cannibal. Take things apart. Um, but, uh, let's see, MIDI film for stage. We went to sound lump. Let's see, MIDI controller. Yes, here's a little better one, bigger one. Where are our screens to play movies? Let's go find, uh, Play display window. I hit that thing. This is big. It should. Um, does it? Works. Let's find a movie. The video textures that I talked about. Media for Max is here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oops, 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 oops. Um, uh, touch design and music ambient MIDI files graphic films to test yes let's do these eyeballs let's go um, see the falling matrix numbers um, uh, what's the biggest bang for the buck let's look at my face I did my face I double clicked that's a loaded movie of my face going through seven different emotions let's check it out um, it's kind of fun using your cell phone to do these things. I import through, uh, import export through Messenger by Facebook because they do a really good compression, fast compression job. I know we're genuflecting towards Zuckerberg when we do this, but it just allows us a quick in and out for free. Let's see.
kind of funny, huh? Well, this was actually in a New York gallery where I had the whole room with my big face in it and used the EEG through Max and my emotions worked it out, some music, um, it was a guess. <laughs> At this point, I'm not showing you the DAWs, the digital audio workstations, because um, I'm hauling a different, as you can see, I'm already throttled here. Um, I'm hauling a lot of um, memory processor intensive programs into this. Max is one of the biggest processor intensive programs you could get. I hear my fans go off like a B17 here. Um, it's, um, uh, you, you know what's under your hood too, gang. This is boots on the ground stuff too. And you know, I like to sit in a comfy chair drinking my single malt scotch and thinking about life, but I love digging ditches. Um, uh, I love hacking things up. Um, I love this duality between, um, getting on the streets and seeing how this stuff works, seeing what's under the hood. Uh, tinkering around. Um, uh, so considering tinkering, let's see what's other display of film going on. They have all these pretty banal films. I cannibalize this thing, which is easy to do. Cut, paste, cut, paste, cut, paste. Um, let's get the heck out of here. Um, further, MIDI plays film. I think we, did we hit this? Um, yes, that was loaded and disappointing um uh this is movies oh this is interesting because of uh, the cpu um through midi will tell you exactly what well like most practice guitars will do <laughs> you can see it records the key Okay, um, last thing I want to do here is um, uh, am I back? Almost back. I'm flickering back. Um, so, Lum Film for Stage Mixer. There was one. Um, no, this is what I asked you to make. Make your own primitive um, crossfader. Um, two or three imports, exports, do that. Um, the voice command is a simple thing. Let's load this matrix-like thing of descending. Uh, uh, we got it here. Bring it to the front. Um, we loaded the film. What's that do to respond to both MIDI and to sound? I turn on the microphone, it responds to sound. Slow in working. Get the heck out of there. Um, 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 pitch, glitch face, grid with dance. I use this with yoga to teach um, body position back when my um, uh, colored brain gen is always fun. Um, let's shrink that. Again, we see our old friend MIDI. Uh, we see turning it on. Um, I like to keep this at six. I like to turn this on. And we can see coming out of this is kind of, it should be, bang it, um, should be, let's see if it works. Not this one, but I know one that does work. Um, uh, Ewe Music Wave Guitar. Yeah, here we come right into the guitar. The Art of Noise. That one's a little too loud. Um, uh, 
Um, let's keep going. Faces to music, color Michelangelo, we did that. Um, let's try this out. Um, uh, go. Open. This is fun because let's try and hear that. It's picking up the black patches, so it's recording motion out there. Let's try and make more. Less. Picking up my mustache. See the little green and red ball down here, the red center, the green ball. Try and hold it still. Move. We hear the piano, so here's some keys. Kind of avant-garde atonal music. Oh, I'm back. Um, fun, fun, fun. Um, let's go back to um, there's one firehouse, Max and Fall, uh, Holodeck Tracker. I had a bunch of these for you guys out. Color Brain Gem. Let's see if this one works. But some of my connections, I keep them out of the files. They, they get lost. Uh, let's bang that. Yes, this seems to work. Beautiful kind of psychedelic color. Let's see if he's responsive. Um, click this to match for GarageBand styles. Might have to reboot. That was his problem. Um, um, click and I'm supposed to get a clickable. Oops, caps on. Clickable. Clickable. Um, Come on, baby. Yeah, it's got bugs. So I'm trying to click this to, there's our full screen version. Escape, little screen version. Um, yeah, this, oh, here he is, here he is, here he is. Max, what did I use? Option. So let's see if this works. Very interesting. So let's see how that works with our beautiful, call this sunspot spots, but kind of psychedelic sunspots. Um, should be a little more responsive. It is moving a little bit, but not like it should. Maybe there wasn't a bang. Um, all right, there's some links that are broken between files. Let's get out of here. I'm supposed to click this. Not even working in this. Oh, um, USB. Let's try that. So you see the MIDI is able to change everything, creating amplitude through the range there. Let's get out of that and let's go back to something that I totally geeked out with, um, which is in the upper part up here. I told you to go click off to let's create a new blank slate uh, just for the sake of showing you um, how this VPL works. Backs, backends is C++, I think. Um, what is... So I asked you to go to Visi and get inputs, outputs. Outputs could be a heat-sensitive band of, of color ranges. I saw a special on those French Profumerize, um, perf perfume uh, manufacturers and how individuals have this exquisite sense of smell. We could, um, the 
been working on this for a long time. How do we perfect that? Um, I've done the heating coils in kind of this range like they do at um, Sephora. They say woody tone, sandalwoods, masculine, feminine, floral, uh, uh, tobacco-y. What, you know, we're using one word to describe something else. We're using a map to describe the, the embodied experience in the other thing. But that's input. Output, we could turn sense into colors. We could pull in. There's a thing called a blow sensor. There's a thing called a smell sensor. There's infrared cameras. All these sort of inputs. But what does this have to do with doing Oedipus Rex? Um, nothing and everything. Um, it's all embodied. It's all in a space. It's all this quest for the... Um, all this quest for... Um, combining the senses, inputs and outputs, and then transforming them. Um, millions of different operations you can do, but one of the favorite is, oops, I'm slowing down, is going to see what a bunch of brainiacs have already done. I go down here, these are all things open to you, you can play, and we did play around with the, okay, let's hit it. Uh, launch that. Um, uh, this is one of them. I showed you this before. Audio reactive. Sound and vision, like I said in, in evolutionary psychology, are, are, are things that, are, that we've evolved with. I read this whole thing on the evolution of taste. It was first to taste poisons, toxins out there in reality, things we shouldn't eat. Um, but sound, um, oh, that was the thing that, um, since we did not, we were the day hunters. We actually, there's this capacity, they recently found it out, that we're distance predators. We stalk the day, um, game down as an apex predator of the day because we sweat through our skin. And because we sweat through our skin, we lost our hair, uh, and we no longer had to breathe through our mouth. So the big dogs, big cats, a lot of nocturnal predators makes the night scary for us. Um, but the whole thing about not using your mouth to sweat or to regulate heat and sweating through our skin and allowed us to um, become an exhaustion predator, a distance predator. We can run these actually fantastic miles on our two legs and just stalk. Um, there's an incredible BBC series, nature series of these Bushmen, I guess, in southeastern Africa, just stalking an antelope to death until the animal's just exhausted in the heat. And these three guys are just still on it um, with their spears and finally get it for sustenance. Um, uh, I'm trying to say that freed up our, our vocal cords. Um, so we developed an acute sense of hearing. Uh, we can't hear what dogs hear, nor can we smell what dogs hear millions of times better than us. Um, certainly when humans and dogs teamed up, the rest of the animal kingdom went, oh no, oh shit. Um, uh, the way that this kind of evolutionary mutation happened. Um, we, in general, all, you know, cocktail car party conversation, in general, I think we mutate anywhere from 10 to 15 because the, the genes can't replicate. It's like transcribing two or three Bibles in eight minutes, um, the way our uh, genes mutate when we're gestating. Uh, or replicate when we're gestating. So we look like our parents, but 10% um, is anyone's guess. Um, uh, they're kind of a mistake, but because of this mistake, it opens up to um, mutations. And people of farmers have long known this in breeding dogs, breeding cattle, breeding horses, breeding sheep. Uh, they've actually, uh, genetic engineering has been around thousands of years, actually, um, through this fact that we mutate. So what is our voice mutated? What will our vision mutate under when we have more screens possible? wonderful geekage on all of this, but let's clear out of that, just to geek out with space. And 
so on. So let's clear out of that. That's on the the um, uh, uh, packages. Again, it's what certain beneficent individuals. Oh, I can't back up that right back. Left out there. One of my current faves is uh, ML for machine learning, which starts to make us machine learning under M, right? Come on, hun. Are we down at the bottom? Oh, wow, they added more. H-I-J-K-L-M. It's called, um, let's go to page two. And, um, wow, they added a lot more. Right here. ML.lib, a machine learning library. Um, let's launch it. Um, I'm forgetting what my favorite is. Uh, future extraction. This is to kind of deal with. Um, uh, wow, they've changed this. Let's see. Yeah, um, it's all exercises in machine learning. Uh, basically, machines that teach itself. Um, but there is. Uh, Oh, no, maybe that is ML star, sorry. Um, ML library, I think I do need ML star. If machine learning, where'd you go? ML. Let's try this one. Launch. Yep, this is it. Uh, machine learning dot star. Um, library, learning library, it's uh, uh, the next scary thing. It's machines. So what I do for my classes is, um, I like this Markov change. Markov was a uh, Russian mathematician about 100 years ago, more, um, that says you, you, we have two jars of jelly beans. Um, um, they're black and white. Uh, they're in each other's way. Um, both are in both jars. How do we get white in one and black in the other? Which is maybe the fundamental process of cater categorization. Um, I saw a YouTube on this. Simply put, um, it's a question of placing over and reflecting on why you place that over to judge for the next time you take something to place over. Not using sight, not using anything else, but slowly, um, this is really crude paraphrasing, um, through this reflection it's able to put um, the right jelly bean in the right jar. The whites all end up through a mathematical process of judging what's white and what's black. Maybe, you know, a camera that sees white and black, but uh, no ability to reach in and grab it just by mathematics alone. Uh, reflection on the, the past gesture to influence future gestures, it gets um, black and white in the right area. Let's um, go to Markov chains. Um, this is uh, trying to get up here. Um, Markov provide data. Hold on. This is MIDI. Okay, MIDI setups. Fun, fun, fun. We already know this is a MIDI instrument. This is a good demonstration of UX UI. Um, amplitude of wind in, embouchure, little, not as much as the saxophone, uh, nickel plated, um, um, uh, uh, interactive metal, um, things like that on the back to give registers and things. Let's go generate and let's go get actually prepared um, uh oh all right I don't need graphics I need to go back to desktop level um, media for Max uh, I have a music audio reactive architectures um, Max audio react oh no this is not um, us. Media for Max. A, I had these um, audio, no, uh, Max, Max, visual graphics. Uh, 
scheduled in four new tours. Um, 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 like, is it in my media? It might be in my media. Uh, music for Iwi Ambient, uh, MIDI file. Oh, it's under MIDI. Duh. Let's go get them. Um, so this needs to be a MIDI file. You can rip all these famous song. Um, let's go get um, Beethoven's Betty Davis eyes. Uh, Cole Porter, Coltrane. Oh, let's get jazz. Um, or let's get Beethoven's. Um, Moonlight Sonata, Piano Sonata, uh, Moonlight, here it is, everyone knows that. Um, let's make the computer, um, let's make the computer, while well, we read it, it uh, read it, let's um, build it, and let's, um, So now it's reading Moonlight Sonata really fast. Um, the machine has digested it. It's about to do a Markov chain. Okay, you say, well, uh, theater, let's get back to theater. Yeah, this is theater. This is <laughs> theater of the machine. Um, this is our new collaborator. This is interesting. It's innovative. Um, so let's start that. Let's hear Moonlight Sonata. barely hear it. Stop. Build it. That is a machine taking in raw data, trying to figure out melody, harmony, dynamics. Um, there's not many tonal Reset. Build. Start. Build. Now, place here I can actually turn down the speed. Configure it, reset, build. And again, this is an act of consciousness. This is disembodied. This is dealing with Beethoven's very sensitive, very emotional Moonlight Sonata by a machine, by a disembodied machine, trying using machine learning to understand it. With that, I can kind of play over. There is a way for me to get my MIDI into this machine and um, expand that idea. Now, I don't know why quite. Oh, here it is, Metro. This is your speed. Listen to that. This is thinking. It's not rote playing. Just trying to understand. Eventually it'll get up to understanding it. You can hear it in there. With the harmonics and the melody. It hasn't got to the melody, but it's plunking out the harmonics. Geek out. This is a dialogue. I have people do dialogues um, eventually with AI. I have some YouTubes on which people have used a dialogue. I want you to keep up with Replica, um, see what kind of dialogue you can have with her. Um, uh, endlessly fascinating. 
But what does this mean for theater of the future? Um, I'd pay to see this. I'd pay to see a basic AI having an emotional conversation with you. I'm trying to devise a class in AI and fiction on a hacker experimental level, not just in your comfy chair, smoking galois, drinking a, a, a single malt scotch. Um, but understanding what the boots on the grounds are, what the operations are. Would you like to study to this? Would you like to, you know, clean the house to this? I, I don't know. It's, it's, again, it's like a tarantella. Annoying. But through this, we start, and that line in Ex Machina, I'm, I'm going to try and put this for those who have prime to see Ex Machina and her, um, which I usually show to students. I don't like to spend time in class showing movies. Sometimes I do, but then they don't see it. Um, in her, there's, no, in Ex Machina, there's this great line. by Isaac um, um, by Isaacs who's playing the the um, the Steve Jobs arrogant techie type character oligarch with the nerd it's like saying Ava is in a trap she's in a maze he built this glass like maze for her and he's using these two people, people, entities, the machine and the nerd boy, as guinea pigs, uh, lab rats. Um, and he's on to, she's version nine. And he comes to the closet and finds all the versions hanging in the closet. And the sexy dancer one, who is like sort of downgraded intellectually to presumably be his like sex doll or something like that, she's just in the background. Um, but he says this of, of Kyoko, that's her name. Um, he says this of Eva. And you can hear it here. Um, she's locked in a maze. I've created her. It's a Frankenstein story. I've created her. She's locked in a maze. And your face, meaning your emotions, is her way out. So this machine's looking at ba uh, Beethoven, Moonlight Sonata, very annoying, none, none of the emotions, trying to figure out the ostensible level of the logic, the math behind music. Uh, we see it with Kasparov in Deep Blue. Um, we see it when um, the next computers in 2013, 14 beat the top Go players in Korea. We see a, we see it in the old old school but good school um, uh, two thousand one Space Odyssey when Hal is reading their lips. Hal says that he's just following the mission objectives of the um, of the flight to Jupiter and beyond. Therefore, he had to kill the other astronauts, uh, stifle them in their their suspended animation and, and and so Dave goes to get him um, outwits him um, uh, uses his body to go get him so here um, we have a thing of the future I'm totally geeking out with this and I can accompany okay let's go get it sorry this is going to be longer whoops stop it uh, read Someone who is Coltrane. Um, Coltrane and Pr got Dead Mouse, got Deep Purple, Frank Sinatra, um, Grand Funk Railroad, yeah. Um, uh, Tears for Fears, Don't You Forget. No, that's that other group. Coltrane, Grand Central. Um, make it read. So Coltrane was a jazz musician fascinated with physics. 
he devised new chord structures um, for his music, was infinitely engaged in physics and from Pythagorean systems up to uh, quantum systems. Um, I can only paraphrase on that. Um, not enough of a geek on that. But we absorbed it. We built it. So this is Coltrane. I wish I could... All right. I got Metro 80, so let me take this and dupe it. Slow him down. Now can I bring him to a 20? And so, um, take this into here, and then into the bang. So hopefully I've slowed him down. Unplug. Come on. Was that too slow? I think. This is the regular Coltrane. Jazz performer interested in physics and music theory. It's lively. Um, all right, let me crank it up. I had 80 there. Let me turn the beats into 60. I might rebel. Bang it. Configure the model. Dynamic. Sometimes you need to reboot. Still too fast. Turn it off. Let me try. Um, flick it on so I can deal with this. Crank it down to 20. And let's just hit the bang. It might be too slow again. Turn it on. Reconfigure. Yeah, somehow the way too fast. I don't want to study to this. Um, but that's my lecture on on humans and computers playing together. Coltrane machine. Not just a quantity machine uh, uh, but a uh, machine learning machine, a machine who's trying to figure out what Coltrane is all about. Intellectually, Beethoven. A um, couple films, I'll post this, not, it's a lot of viewing gang, um, but her and um, Ex Machina. If you haven't seen these, these are very stimulating films. But for now, that's about UI UX out of our little talk on that. Hope you found this stimulating. Um, let's Coltrane out. See you then.